Hello students, how are you all? Welcome back to our class and today we are going to learn measurement of space. So let's start. Alright, so in measurement of space, first of all, we want to visualize the shapes first. That is, first of all, we will start with a point. Yes, that is a point. Can you see that? Yes, it is there. Yes, it is there. <laughs> All right. So the point, it don't have any dimension. That means it don't have length. It don't have any breadth. So you really can't measure it. That is according to the theory of point. But whenever I will give you two points, that is here and here, just to join them together. So whenever you will join them together, you will get a total line. That is a straight line and it should some it should have some value over here it can be say um, around three centimeter over here so it must have some value so what is the concept that you can say the length of this line right now Achha. so if I give you a piece of paper that is quite like this which have the length and the breadth so I'm just marking that length with L and breadth with B so from this idea we going to find the area what is area always remember area is the occupied space by some object area is the occupied space of the plane by some object so what is the occupied space that is the shaded region i just gave you over here so how we can find it let me show you suppose this is a block of one centimeter length and one centimeter breadth that is good now we have similar type of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks over here. Also in horizontally you have got 5 blocks as well as in vertically I will giving you also another 5 blocks. And I am just filling the whole plane like this. That is one, then two, then three. And this is all kind of idea that you can see over here. I am just asking you, you got five blocks in the column and also you got five blocks over here. So how many boxes are there? That is my question. You will say, sir, we can multiply five with five. So it can surely give us the total number of boxes. So I just told you the total space occupied in the plane is called the area. So this boxes, the number of boxes that is giving you that how much space is occupied over there. So from this idea we can say that area is the multiplication of length and breadth. So this is length and this is breadth. So if we multiply it together, we can get the value of area. And also remember that the area got in square unit. So whenever you will write the value of area, just write square then unit. Unit means whatever unit is given over there. That is if it is meter, just write meter. If it is centimeter, just write centimeter. And in the space uh, in the space of square, you can write SQ only. That's mean also the square in short. All right. So you got the idea about area. That is what just the uh, space occupied in the plane by some object. Now we will think it a little bit more. So in this case, if I give you total same sides in all side these are same this is also a this is also a 
that means all the sides are same so what should be the area that means a into a if i multiply a with a it will be the area all right very good so i am just making this half oops wait a minute let me draw some straight line over here so i am just trying to make this completely half i hope you get that idea uh, so if i draw a line diagonal to this then i can get totally the half portion of it and it will look like a triangle it will totally look like a triangle the half of this so i just halved it and i now asking you the area what should be the area so this time you will say sir it will be the half of the total area total area is a into a then half will be half of that so just think about right now the triangle have the area half if this is length and this is breadth length into breadth or you can say if this is marked with height and this is marked with base then you can say the triangle that means the right angle triangle this is called right angle triangle having the area half of height into base so i hope you get that idea a little more still if you have any doubt you can write me in the comment section thank you